Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We are right here at the Raising Canes in Byron, Mississippi, for the South 78 Football Show. It's our third season doing this. I'm Trellis Williams right here with me, Coach Chris Thigpen of the Terry Bulldogs, and we're coming up on the first game of the season on Friday night going down to Raymond, Raymond High School, to take on the Rangers just like you guys do every single year. A rivalry game coming up here. Um, you guys on uh, last Friday, uh, you played in the Jamboree matchup taking on uh the Quitman Panthers and uh had a good had a good show in there uh played one half of football we were up 21 nothing once it was all said and done so how important was it to have a good solid performance there in the Jamboree it was very important you know we kind of preparing like it was game week uh from what we normally would do with the players and as a coaching staff and um you know, we we wanted to play a really strong opponent or someone we thought would, would be a strong opponent. Uh, Coach Darrell Carter of Heidelberg, I reached out to him because we were kind of late scheduling an opponent. Uh, we had kind of wanted to maybe uh, uh, play Laurel Tornadoes, but they had a game already. They had a team that dropped out of the Jamboree, and so we moved in their slot. And, you know, it was a trip for us. Our team has never been to Heidelberg, uh, you know, or been to that part of the state to play. And so uh, it was a great atmosphere. Had a lot of people there. Um, had bands there. So it was a really great atmosphere for our players. And, uh, you know, as always, you know, we got some good work in, and we didn't get anyone injured. And so yep. uh, that was the, the plus of uh, last week. We saw some things that we had to correct. And so, like I told the coaches and – I told the players, you know, when we play this Friday, you know, we don't want to see some of the same mistakes that we did this past Friday. So we've been working on correcting that and just getting our team ready to play for four quarters. Yep, so all eyes were on your new quarterback, your new sophomore quarterback, Brady Busby, and he really impressed. He, he showed out uh, on Friday night uh, throwing, uh, throwing two touchdowns um, and, and looking pretty good as well. Uh, you told us uh, last, uh, last show that – you know, he was very talented throwing the football, and we saw that on Friday. So what did you what did you take away from his performance? You know, from the mental aspect, I just – I like what I saw. Uh, we like what we saw as a coaching staff. Uh, we, you know, we got to do a better job, I think, of protecting him um, because he's not necessarily a dual threat type of guy. But – you want a guy that can run your complete offense and he can make all the throws, which is important because if you're going to run a, a spread type of offense, um, you need to be able to hit the defense and on every part of the field uh, where they're weak. And then also uh, you need a, a solid passing game to complement a good running game with, uh, you know, Jordan McGee and Runday Baker back there running the football. So uh, Brady is a guy that's, you know, that's very, very smart. He understands uh, what we're trying to do from an offensive standpoint. Um, he's real good with uh, small tweaks that come and adjustments that come with, you know, playing the position. And then you got to be wired a little different to play quarterback. You know, you got to have a short memory. You can't get too high. You can't get too low. Um, you have to kind of uh, maintain your composure on the field. And, uh, you know, his thing and my biggest thing with him you know, it's just decision-making, decision you know, making really good decisions because he's really accurate with the football. And, of course, you don't want any turnovers. Uh, but he has an arm, and you saw uh, last Friday he made some tight throws. And so um, our guys came down with those tight throws. So yeah. we don't want to dis discourage him from not making those type of throws because we like to think our receivers can win, you know, the 50-50 balls, and that's what we've been working on. Yeah, and so uh, I know one of the big uh, big concerns for your uh, ball club was how you were going to replace that defense that you had last year, uh, a very strong defense that would make a lot of plays. But your defense did look good against Quitman. Uh, le left them with zero. Also getting to the football very well. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of talk about uh, what you saw from your defense. Well, Coach Benson and uh, the defensive staff have done a really good job. I really like their approach. I like their that they're process-oriented and – just about everything we do. And, uh, you know, when I was looking for a defensive coordinator, um, he checked all the boxes. And, um, you know, he the players respond very well to him. And so um, those guys play with a lot of pride on defense. Uh, they're very coachable. And, um, 
you know, a lot of guys got experience, so they kind of know what to expect. Uh, they know, you know, what it takes to, to, to get to that championship level of, of playing solid defense. And then they also know us. We want it to be a long season in that, you know, we play into late November and hopefully the first weekend in December. And so uh, we've worked on a lot of small things with our football team, uh, not just offense and special teams, but we worked a lot this summer on very, very small things and small phases of defense. And so we got some young guys that we're going to play at linebacker. We got some young guys that's going to play in the secondary, but each time they're able to get on the field and get reps uh, those are meaningful reps for us collectively uh, because you, you just never know it helps build depth on your team and so I've been really really um, you know impressed with how we go about you know coaching defense and correcting uh, the things we should correct so turning our attention to Friday night, you take on uh, the rival Raymond Rangers. Last season, uh, you're able to come away victorious, 39 to zero. But the year before, last time you went to Raymond, That's it was right. 14 to seven. So That's a much right. narrower game. You're going down to Raymond this year, um, and anything can happen in a rivalry game. So just kind of talk about how you're preparing your guys for this game. Well, you know our process doesn't change. Uh, we we believe in what we do. Um, you know, we, we changed a few things as far as uh, the kids we got, but, you know, we're going to prepare our team uh, to play uh, no matter who the opponent is, uh, whether it's a rivalry game, the first game, the fourth game of the season, we're going to prepare like it's the only game in the world. And that's that's the approach we've taken this, this week. Um, I told the team after practice today, that, you know, I'm not necessarily concerned about who we're playing, but I'm concerned about how we play. So it's about how we do the things that we do that helps us get the results we want to get on Friday night. And I thought we had a very focused uh, practice, uh, you know, this week, especially today. Um, it was really hot out, but our guys focused and then locked in. And, you know, that's a testament to some of our – our seniors and our, our guys that are leaders on our team, they know what it takes, and, and we don't have to prime them too much. And so I'm excited. I know they'll be excited on Friday to go uh, over there and play. I think it'll be a great atmosphere. I was told uh, the tickets <laughs> sold out, so they got to regenerate some more on GoFan. Wow. So we're expecting a big crowd. And as, you know, Coach Fields does a great job with his program, and, uh, you know, we want to go one and no, so that's the goal. Yeah, and so talking about this Raymond team, I mean, they've got a, a very good running back, very solid running back in an Amadra Moffitt who came off of a 1,300-yard rushing season last season. So kind of talk about what the, uh, what the idea is of stopping that run uh, that Raymond likes to go to. Well, they, they definitely like to run the football. They have um, an element of uh, misdirection in their offense. And so, um, you know, it, it almost turns into sometimes um, almost like a, a triple option type of offense where you may have a dive back and then you may have another back that may get the ball. Uh, so, but, um, you know, we're, we're prepared to play uh, against them. They don't throw the ball. Uh, very much and so we know we got to come in and stop the run and be really really strong up front and in the box and our guys have uh, had a good week of you know preparing for that of course we watched the film from uh, last year to, we watched the film from the year before when we went over and it was the mud game as we call it uh, yeah. very very uh, rainy and wet and so but we know as you said you know, they're going to give us our best shot, and we just got to, you know, stay composed and, and, and play Terry football. Absolutely. Coach, appreciate you joining us the South 78 Football Show, and we have uh, some players that we're going to talk to in uh, just a few moments. All right, folks, we are here with Jordan McGee of the Terry Bulldogs, senior player, and he's played many different positions over the course <laughs> of his career with the Bulldogs. But, Jordan, we're glad to have you coming into a big rivalry week here against Raymond. Uh, you've played them twice, beaten them both times. Last year, 39 nothing win, but the year before, last time you were in Raymond, 
14 to 7. Uh, you never know what happens in rivalry games. How are you guys preparing for this game? I mean, uh, I coach the Predators very well. Coach Benson, Coach Boone, ready to get them guys fired up for the first game. Yeah, for sure. And so last season, uh, you guys made it uh, to the playoffs, won in the first round, a tough matchup with George County, beating them uh, before losing to the undefeated state champions. Uh, looking uh, forward to this season, what are your goals for this team? Just just to host a playoff game at home. Honestly. Since Terry ain't did in about 20 years. And you ha you're – being put in a good position because uh, your two big uh, region games, which are against Hattiesburg and West Jones, are at home. Mm -hmm. So I know you're trying to take care of business at home. Now you start off with a road game. Just kind of talk about uh, talk about with uh, your coaching staff because the coaching staff has changed a lot. You got That's Coach right. Thickpin still, but other than that, it's mostly been a change. Kind of talk about the adjustment to the new coaching staff. Uh, I say because Boom, I mean he very, you know what I'm saying. He he let us know, like he let let us. Tell him like what we can, what, like what we can see. Like if a cover's wrong, he tell us okay, let's fix it right here. Like I like him. And Coach, and Coach Benson, he a very very serious coach. I like it. Yep, uh, for sure. And so last year, I know that you had you, you got banged up at some points in time of the season. Uh, how are you feeling uh, going into this year uh, physically? Uh, already, I feel like I, I, I just gotta stay healthy throughout the whole season. For sure, Jordan, we appreciate you joining us. Looking forward to seeing you out on the field. Thank you. All right, we're back right here at the Raising Canes with the South 78 football show. I'm Trellis Williams right here with me, Caleb Tillman, with the Terry Bulldogs. And, uh, Caleb, man, uh, you know, coming off of last year, last year you guys' defense was dynamic, uh, causing a lot of plays. Uh, you're losing some of the guys from last year's team, and you're one of the main guys that are is returning in that secondary. Just talk about what it takes to match what you guys had last year. Um, just coming out and just working every day. We had we had people behind our, the, the people from last year that's ready to play, so we just ready to make plays. For sure, you're coming into this week uh, on Friday. You take on Raymond. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, you know, big uh, rivalry game there. Never know what happens in a rivalry game last year, 139-0, but the last time you played on the road against them is 14-7. It's a tough game there. Just kind of talk about how – the coaching staff and you seniors are getting your team ready to play that game. Uh, we just just ready to go win, you know. We just our mind is past running. We ready for like on down on down the road, but we don't even call them running. We call them the team on eighteen. So <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So uh, so uh, this this year uh, coming off of last year had a good go in the playoffs, able to get a win. They're in the playoffs. What would you say is the overall goal for this team this year? I know, obviously, you want to get back to the playoffs. Jordan just said that uh, you want to get a home game there. Kind of talk about what you view the goal as being. Getting a home game for sure. Getting a home game for sure. But I want to take it all the way. Win state, you know. And, you, and you're put in a position where you very well could do that. You got West Jones and Hattiesburg at home. So if you take care of business at home, you can get put yourself in that position to have a home game to start off. Even though last year guys didn't need a home game, you're able to win it on the road, which is pretty good. But um, look, looking forward at this schedule, you got a lot of tough games there. You got Clinton and Vicksburg as well before you get into region play. What's a what's a game on this schedule that you're circling on the calendar? I love into the games. I'm just gonna go out there, make plays, be a, be a ball player. For sure. Last question, man. So you had the exhibition game on Friday. Um, what did what, what, you see uh, from you and your teammates that you liked? Uh, we got we got some young guys that's, that's ready to make plays. Uh, everybody is together. Like, we play together. No, nothing, nothing selfish. So, I feel like we're going we're gonna, to – I feel good. For sure, Caleb. Appreciate you joining us. Caleb yes, Tillman. And we got uh, more coming up right here on the South 78 football show. All right, folks, we're back at the Raising Canes. I'm Charles Williams with me, Glenn Darius Ford with the Terry Bulldogs. And, man, so we were kind of just talking with some of the, uh, your teammates about this. So on Friday night uh, you took on uh, Quitman in the Jamboree. What did you take away from that of how you and your guys did? I mean, you're 21 nothing in one half of football. Uh, I mean, we, we came ready. We had a different mindset. The team was ready. You know, we had a lot of people against us, so – we just wanted to show people what we're capable of this season. And so, uh, 
So, when it comes to you guys' defense, uh, last year had a very good defense. You lost some of the guys uh, from last year to graduation, uh, but you guys looked like you, you're ready to step up this year uh, just based on what we saw on Friday. Just kind of talk about that process. You bring in a new coaching staff and you have new players that are that are stepping in for the guys from last year. Kind of talk about that adjustment. I mean, we got new players, new coaches, but we still got the same mindset. We still got the same goal. Everybody on one accord. We still got we still on this dream of winning the state championship this year, so And it could very well happen, especially as just talking to the other guys. Take care of business at home, you can get it done for sure. Especially put yourself in a good position starting off the playoffs, even getting a home game there. But let's talk about this Raymond game on Friday. Rivalry game, you know, last year, um, took it to them thirty nine nothing. The year before it was fourteen to seven, so you never know what happens when you play a rivalry game on the road. Just kind of talk about the preparation going into that game. Man, we gonna stay focused, stay locked in. Like we don't want to be over cocky because we never we don't know what's gonna happen. Yep. So we gonna stay locked in for Friday. For sure. So what for you? What is the goal of this football team for this twenty twenty four season? My goal for this twenty twenty four football team is I wanna do something that Terry never did before. We wanna win the state champ. We want to be on the news, play somewhere big. Absolutely. Appreciate you joining us, uh, Glenn Darius. And, uh, folks, we appreciate you joining us as well. This is the South 78 Football Show. I'm Trellis Williams on Friday night. We will be live from Raymond High School as the Terry Bulldogs head there to take on the Raymond Rangers. We're looking forward to that stream. We'll begin when the kickoff happens. I do believe it is 730, but we will have updates on the TSJ Network, you can follow us on Instagram and subscribe to the TSJW Network YouTube channel. We appreciate Tire Depot for sponsoring this South 78 football show. Tire Depot right here in Byron, Mississippi. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Trellis Williams. We out.